The Czech-based company PBS Aerospace has officially introduced its newest creation, the TJ200 turbojet engine, at the 2025 Paris Air Show, setting a new benchmark for lightweight, high-thrust propulsion systems tailored for UAVs, precision munitions, and aerial target platforms. Now transitioning into limited production, the TJ200 brings a dramatic leap in output and efficiency to the tactical propulsion arena, underscoring PBS's evolving role in cutting-edge aerial technologies. Delivering 50% more thrust than earlier generations, the TJ200 emerges at a time when global militaries are seeking compact engines capable of delivering outsized performance. Its launch isn't merely a technical announcement, it's a signal of PBS's broader ambitions to compete on the global stage as a top-tier propulsion innovator for defense and dual-use aerospace platforms. The new engine stems from years of dedicated engineering, testing, and optimization. PBS has built the TJ200 to prioritize thrust to diameter efficiency, resulting in a unit that is 10% narrower yet considerably more powerful than its predecessors. It produces a sustained 2,280 newtons of thrust and can peak at 2,700 newtons, figures that significantly enhance payload potential and endurance for small aerial systems. The TJ200's architecture includes a digitally managed control unit, FADEC, an integrated brushless starter generator, and a unique fuel lubricated bearing design that eliminates separate oil systems, reducing weight and maintenance demands. Built for next gen military applications, the TJ200 is tailor made for airframes where every millimeter and gram matter, particularly in maritime environments where corrosion resistance is essential. Its capabilities are well suited for long-range missions, autonomous attack drones, loitering munitions, and advanced naval platforms. Saltwater resistance ensures operational viability in seaborne deployments, aligning with current trends emphasizing multi-domain operational flexibility. This engine also symbolizes a broader transformation at PBS. The company recently bolstered its manufacturing footprint by launching a production facility in Roswell, Georgia, to serve U.S. and Allied defense customers. This American site handles final assembly and qualification, ensuring compliance with regional procurement standards. Back in the Czech Republic, PBS is doubling down on research and development with a new innovation hub aimed at pushing the boundaries of small turbine propulsion. Market demand is already building around the TJ200 with multiple international clients reportedly in late-stage contract talks. Its modularity and small form factor allow it to be easily integrated into both legacy and next-generation platforms, giving designers more freedom in airframe layout and mission systems integration. Whether enhancing the range of ISR drones or powering expendable munitions, the TJ200 is poised to be a disruptive force across multiple segments. PBS's propulsion ecosystem includes previous models like the TJ100 and TJ150, alongside a full catalog of APUs, custom castings, and thermal management systems. This end-to-end -end capability gives PBS a strategic edge in offering complete propulsion solutions tailored to specific mission demands, especially in NATO-aligned markets seeking both performance and supply chain resilience. The TJ200's unveiling is not just a product release, it's a statement of strategic intent. In an era where aerial warfare demands agility, survivability, and extended reach, PBS's latest engine offers the kind of performance jump needed to unlock new operational concepts and capabilities across the spectrum of unmanned aviation.